A quarter of a million pounds. 22 sealed boxes. No questions except one. Deal or no deal? No Deal, the show that gives real people the real chance to win real money. In each show, we have a quarter of a million pounds up for grabs. So, how does it work? On our game board, we can see 22 different sums of money from 1p through to £250,000. Each of these sums is in one of these 22 sealed boxes. 22 different amounts of money in 22 boxes, and nobody knows which amount is in which box. One by one, our players will join me at this table for their chance to win, and they could take home a fortune by simply picking the right box. But only one player can join me each day. So let's find out who it's going to be. The player with the chance to win thousands and thousands of pounds is... Lynn! <laughs> Lynn, please, come and join me. Hello. Hi. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And they've given me a lot of fascinating information about you. Lynn Atherton it's from Bolton. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, you've got two children, Simon and Victoria. You have two cats and your lucky number is seven. Mm -hmm. Lynn, if you were to win, for example, £20,000, what would you spend it on? I would pay the boring things, you know, pay my debts off, pay some debts off and um, put some money to my son's wedding. Relax and enjoy. Okay. There's not a lot at stake, just a quarter of a million. Pounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need you to confirm that you've selected this box at random. Yep, certainly did. An independent auditor seals all of the boxes. I have no idea how much money there is in this box or any of the other boxes. Nobody does. What you are going to do, Lynn, is open these boxes in turn. As you do so, they will reveal a sum of money, and you'll be able to follow the progress on the game board. Obviously, as we reveal the sums of money, you will have a much better idea as to whether in this box 15, which you've selected, there could be one of the big, big prizes, including the quarter of a million. After the first five boxes, we will get a phone call from the banker. Now, Everyone here wants you to win. They all want you to win. I want you to win. They want you to win. However, the banker does not no. want you to win because it's his money. OK. He also doesn't know what's in the box. He will be offering you cash for your box. OK. He will watch very closely, however, how you play the first five boxes. So, if, for example, you removed the lower figures, and we're leaving the big numbers, when we get that call, he is likely to offer you a significant sum of money to buy your box. Mm. Conversely, if you are unfortunate enough to take out 75, 100, please don't take out the quarter of a million. It's going to change his attitude and he'll probably make a, a low bid. Remember, all the banker wants to do is buy that box for as little money as possible. You ready? Yep. OK. Remember? We're going to open five boxes now before we will hear from the banker. OK. So could I have your first selection, please? Number 19, please. You're starting with box number 19. Would you please open box number 19? Remember, we want this to be a low number. Open the box. Five pounds. <laughs> Fantastic. 
So, now you know you haven't got five pounds in this box. <laughs> right. OK, another one. Number five, please. Box number five. Anita, would you please open box number five? Fifty thousand. Ooh. It's okay. It makes, it makes it look nice and balanced on the board. <laughs> it makes it look nice and balanced yeah. on the board. We're not going for an arts council no, grant. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to win money. Okay, it's not a disaster. No. If you can hold on to 75, 100, and the 250, we are going to get a good offer from mm. the banker. You do not want, however, to take one of those three. Number 17, please. Number 17. Trevor, I hope you've got a low number. So do I. Trevor, would you please open box number 17? Oh. 20,000. 20,000. Um, this is getting serious now. Mm. Uh, we've lost the 50, we've lost the 20. Good news is the top three are still there and that will always have the banker worried. Yep. We desperately want the next two to be small numbers. Take out the pound, take out the 50p. You could even afford to take out a thousand mm. in this context. Lynn. I'm going to take box number 11, please. Box number 11. Come on, let's be really optimistic. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Would you please open box number 11? Good luck. Bangor's mum and you, Mercedes. <laughs> so you're lowering your sights now? No, no, no. <laughs> OK, you're absolutely right to identify that £100,000 is still there. Mm. It could be in your box. However, please do not, in this selection, take out another big one. Otherwise, this is going to be a very uncomfortable conversation <laughs> with a banker. <laughs> This is the final selection before the <clears throat> phone will ring. Good luck, Lynn. Number eight, please. So, Jane, you are absolutely vital at this stage. I'm hoping this is a penny yeah? in this box. Are you somebody who can feel the vibes out of a box? We'll see in about ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> so you're hoping it's... I am. A penny? Yeah. OK. Well, there's a lot of positive vibes coming from Jane. Let's find out if this is a very positive box for you. Would you please open box number eight? Oops. All in. One <laughs> penny! One penny! to have a clairvoyant with us. <laughs> <laughs> Not only did she do exactly what you needed, but she even knew what was in the box. <laughs> Thanks for that, Jane. Well, now we've got an interesting situation mm. here. Um, you have taken out two of the smaller numbers. The banker does have to worry that the 100,000 is still there. He has to worry about that. Because, remember, he doesn't want to think it's in there. He is going to offer you some money to persuade you to sell this box now and not continue with the game. So a few moments ago, we were upset about the quarter of a million. But believe me, he is focusing on those. Hello? He's delighted. He was delighted to see the quarter of a mil go, but can you believe he's worried that um, <laughs> you spent a penny? Just to remind you, the banker wants to buy this box for as little money as possible. He wants you to stop playing. And his offer to you, Lynn, is £1,700. He's having a laugh. <laughs> He's having a He's laugh. He's having a real laugh, isn't he? I love that. <laughs> it came from Malta. Yeah. That sounds straight out of EastEnders. Yeah. He's having a laugh. Leave it out. <laughs>
Well, um, just put it in a context. £1,700, just look at how many numbers are below that figure that you could end up with. So I'm duty bound just to remind you, the offer is £1,700. Do you wish to deal or no deal? No deal. No deal. The right thing. <laughs> I'm not supposed to sway you one way or the other, but I think you did the right thing. Now we're on to three boxes. OK. You are about to open three boxes before the banker will make the next offer to you. So, first one, please. Number three, please. Box number three. Would you please open box number three? Now we're motoring. Next one. Uh, number six, please. Number six. Sam, open box six. Hum oh! <sighs> OK. Um, we've got to drop our expectations. Yep. There will be a whoop of joy from the banker, because, believe me, that was one he was worrying about. Fortunately, you've still got a very meaty one sitting there. Let's not forget, it could be here. 75,000 could be in your box there. Let's hope this one is, is a low one. You need this to be I low. I do. If you, if you take the 75,000, it changes the whole complexion. And this is your final box before the banker is going to make the next deal. Twenty-one. Box? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. This has to be low. It mustn't be the 75,000. No. And we'll find out what's in box 21 after the break. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. At the table with me today is Lynn, and at the start of the show, Lynn chose this box at random. A box that could contain thousands and thousands of pounds. Lynn has eliminated seven of our original 22 boxes, and now only 15 remain. Those 15 boxes contain these 15 amounts of money, as you can see on the game board. One of these amounts is in Lynn's box, number 15, but nobody knows which one. But I can tell you we are sending out the vibes in the hope that this Lynn is the big one. Before the break, she chose to eliminate box 21. Uh, Natalie, you're brimming with confidence. Would you please open box 21? Thousand pounds! How many other times in your life <laughs> yeah. are you pleased to throw away a thousand pounds? You could have actually, I think, got away with three thousand pounds as well, but that's fine. Mm. And I'm looking at the left hand side, and do you know what? I think at this moment, the banker is not focusing here. I doubt that he's focusing on that. I think he's focusing on the odds that in the next three, that's where you are going. Which means he's got to improve on that offer. Mm. 1,700 pounds last time. What do you think he's going to offer? Diddly squat, probably about, I don't know, four and a half, maybe. Diddly squat is four and a half? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Wow. He feels that you're going to cave in. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I think he's got it wrong. Mm. I'm getting very feisty vibes here. <laughs> but you're not going to be happy. He's offering you 900 quid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. 
<laughs> well, I do like you. <laughs> 900 quid. I mean, the thing you always have to remember with this game, 900 pounds from the banker is real money. And this box could contain 10p. Or 50p. Mm -hmm. At £900, Lynn, do you want to deal or no deal? Absolutely no deal. No deal. Right. OK, next room. Where are you going with? I'm going to go with um, 14. Box number 14. Box number 14. Please, open box number 14, Jan. £15,000! Too far. You've gone too far. That's taken you into the banker's comfort zone. Ah, what a shame it wasn't even three or five or fifteen. Let's have the next two low numbers and hopefully the banker will come up on that 900. Next one. I'm going to go for 12. Box number 12. Elaine, would you please, 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 Elaine, please, what do you think you've got? Oh. Uh... I'm hoping it's really small. I know what you're hoping, <laughs> but what do you think? Do you think, do you think it is? One minute. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Definitely, good. Definitely. Open box 12. Nice low one. 5,000! <laughs> 5,000. Should I just get me coat? <laughs> <laughs> I feel so sorry for you. Oh, don't. No, it's all right. <laughs> I've got you down as a winner. I think you are still going to pull this round. Okay. I really think you are going to pull this round. But don't, whatever you do, <laughs> go near those other two. <laughs> What's your next one going to be? Number two. Box number two. This really <laughs> must be low. Lee. It's the last one before the next offer. It's a good one, no. It's a good one? It's a good one. It's a good one? Yeah. Come on, turn her luck around, Lee. Let's have a low number from two. Come on, Gail. £250. <laughs> we can live with that. We can live with that. Right. Right, we're around the corner. We're around the corner. This is good because you still have the odds stacked to the left-hand side, the low numbers. 750, 500. 150, 10 pounds and whatever. I wonder what is in that box. I really hope it's not the 10p. <laughs> and I tell you, the banker is really worried that the 75 is still sitting there. It could be in your box. Yep. Yep, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> He's worried that the two big ones are still there. Yep, OK, so what's the, what's the offer? And, and could I just suggest, don't upset her. She's lovely. I think she is lucky. I think ultimately she's going to be very lucky. What's your offer? Okay, okay, okay. okay. A bit menacing. He's up the, from 900. Uh -huh. He's put a two in front. 2,900 pounds. 2,900 pounds. Easy, calm. Don't, you know, <clears throat> that is a nice outfit for the wedding. That is a nice wedding gift. £2,900. Put it in that context. What is really important, Lynn, is that you don't get drawn in to the numbers that are there and mm -hmm. you remember that that box could suddenly become £2,900. <laughs> There are seven numbers in the game lower than the offer you've just had. However, how many times in your life are you going to have the opportunity to maybe win £75,000 tax-free? Am I making this easier? <laughs> £2,900, Lynn. Deal or no deal? No deal. I knew you were going to do it. Right. I think your luck is changing. I think the luck is changing, and uh, I love the way you're playing this. This is feisty stuff.
The next three take us to the next deal. Choose your next three boxes. Right, come on, guys. 16. Come on, Len. 16! <laughs> Would you open box number 16, please, Len? Good luck, Len. Don't lose, don't <laughs> lose this lucky streak. God, I want exactly that again. 18. Pay, 10 pounds, sorry? 18. 18, 18. You could get a kiss. <laughs> Paul, open box 18. Guaranteed, Lynn. Good luck. 15! Yes! said at the beginning that you'd sort of evened it up and made it look pretty, yeah. and it's beginning to look very attractive, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Now, £2,900 was the last <laughs> offer from the banker. If, please, you could get another low one, he's going to go up. And he could give you quite a problem, actually. But, but we'll face that when it comes. We'll face that when it comes. What are you going to do? Number four, please. Box number four. Any particular reason why you're choosing box four? It just balances out. It balances out. <laughs> There's a whole zen thing going here, yeah. isn't there? You just want everything nicely balanced. <laughs> Box number four. Are you feeling confident that you're going to help us? Yes, definitely. You are. Mm -hmm. Box number four is totally critical to whether the banker will come up from 2,900. I'd like you, please, to open box number four after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Deal or No Deal. Welcome back to Lynn's roller coaster ride. Through a process of elimination, we're left with the amounts that you see on the screen. One of these amounts is in Lynn's box, number 15, but nobody knows which amount it is. Before the break, she chose to eliminate box number four. We're all praying that she is going to eliminate a low number before the banker calls again. Open box number four. <laughs> the banker has got to be happy that you've lost the seventy five thousand. Hello. Um, don't do an immediate gut reaction to this. There is a certain logic to this offer. Okay. In terms of the 35 would worry, but the relief for him is the 75 has gone and you've taken out the other big numbers. Mm -hmm. He thinks this is the deal you are going to do. Okay. He's sticking at 2,900 pounds. <laughs> Remember, if you say no deal, you have to open three more boxes. Lynn, £2,900, deal or no deal? Let me think about it. No deal. No deal. <laughs> Part of me wants to say, I hope you don't live to regret this. <laughs> and part of me still feels there is something about you that you are going to win a sensible sum of money. We now come to the next three before we have to talk to that banker again. Would you please tell me which is your next box? <clears throat> number 10. Box number 10. Would you please open box number 10 and please... Rachel, please make it a small one. Open the box. Who's like then? 750. Yes, that's all right. Right. Okay. That's really good. Really good. Excellent. Come 
everyone, I said at the beginning... I said at the beginning that every single person other than the banker wants you to do well. There is a real atmosphere here. Come on. Come on. Good luck. Good luck. Next one. Number nine. Number nine. <sighs> Raj, what do you think you got there? A tenner. Do you think you got a, a tenner? <laughs> Go on, Raj. You better be right. Uh, I'm going off that way from now. Go on. Open it up. Ah! Ten thousand! You were right about the ten bit, but unfortunately there are a few noughts on it. Next one. And number thirteen. Do us a favour. Make sure this is not thirty-five thousand. Good luck. Three thousand. Three thousand. Okay, that is good. That is good. Given, Lynn, that we've had to completely change our expectations because of what's been happening, uh, that was OK. That was all right. You know, it's very easy to think that you are extraordinarily unlucky, but you now have a <laughs> one in five chance of walking away from this show with £35,000. Doesn't mm -hmm. sound too bad, does it? No. 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 Have that in mind. Yeah. I'm not going to like this, am I? <laughs> 35 still there. To buy your box, he is offering you £4,300. £4,300, <clears throat> yours now, the wedding's coming up, you'll spend the money the way you want to spend the money. It's a significant sum of money. Mm -hmm. There could actually be just 50p in that box. Yep, there could. Or that box could contain 35000 The banker is now asking you at £4,300 whether you wish to deal or no deal. No deal. No deal. I so much want to have a peep in that box, <laughs> but none of us know what's in the box. Um, the next three takes us to a deal. Let's have three from the left-hand side. What's your first one? Number one. Number one. Would you please open box number one? <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes. Oh. Right. Right. I want you to do so well now for one simple reason. The pure courage that you've shown. Let's go. Let's get another low one. Please, please, please. 22. 22. 22. Oh, for some <laughs> reason... <laughs> you can't possibly know what's in that box. Not a popular choice. 22. Oh, even you don't look as if no, it's going... No. Are you getting a... Oh, are you really? I really don't want to have 35,000 in this box. No. Shell, please make it a small number. And would you open box 22? Yeah. 500 pounds! 500 pounds! 500 pounds! Oh. Right! <laughs> right! <laughs> right! <laughs> One in three chance, £35,000 is going to be yours. Last one before the offer. What's it going to be? Number 20. Number 20. Number 20. I'll tell you what, there is a dimension to this that uh, I wasn't anticipating. How frightened these people are that they're going to let you down. 50p or £10 is what we now want to see. Would you open box 20?
this is so fantastic. This is so fantastic. She's ecstatic because bravery's been rewarded. Lindsay is so relieved that she didn't, didn't let you down. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. £4,300 was the last offer. We have 35,000 on the board. 35,000 could be in this box. 10 pounds could be in that box. You're going, ooh, right. Oh, wow. Hello. Thank you. He is offering you fourteen thousand pounds. <laughs> fourteen thousand pounds, real money. Bear in mind there could be thirty-five thousand here, or there could be ten pounds. Fourteen thousand pounds is a really significant sum of money. And I'm not going to say another word. I'm going to give you some time to think. Please. Think again how you would spend £14,000. It's real money, and it could be yours. Len? Oh, God. I can't one question. I can't decide. At £14,000, deal or no deal? regret this, but I'll deal and take the money. Take the money. £14,000 is yours. And you earned it. <laughs> yeah. Big time. OK, so we know that you have £14,000. But what did you actually sell? Have you made the wisest decision you are likely to make in a very, very long time? Or are you going to regret this for a while? Mm -hmm. We play on to see what would have happened. £14,000 is yours. <clears throat> Lynn, we do not want to see £35,000 in your box. So, I want you to open what was your box. It's not yours anymore because the banker has bought it off you for £14,000. I wonder who's cleverer, you or the banker? Lynn, open the box. <laughs> You sold a £10 box for 14 grand. Well done, Lynn. Congratulations. You pulled it right. 